artificial intelligence a rising topic amongst the tech verse. It holds so much promise in making our lives easier and healthier, but there's also risk, a lot of risk. And now some prominent experts are sounding the alarm. ABC's Andrew Dimber has more. Current and former employees at two major artificial intelligence companies are sounding the alarm about what they describe as a reckless and secretive industry. In an open letter, the group is calling for more transparency, saying AI companies possess substantial non-public information about the capabilities and limitations of their systems. However, they currently have only weak obligations to share some of this information with governments and none with civil society. The letter calls for AI companies to stop blocking employees from openly criticizing them and create an anonymous ways for employees to voice concerns to regulators. If we let this horse get out of the barn, it will be even more difficult to contain than social media. Last year, Senators Josh Hawley and Richard Blumenthal released a bipartisan framework for regulating AI. We have a responsibility here now to do our part to make sure that this new technology, which holds a lot of promise but also peril, actually works the American people. But more than nine months after that framework was announced, not a single federal law governing artificial intelligence has been passed. In response to the new letter, OpenAI saying, we agree that rigorous debate is crucial given the significance of this technology and we'll continue to engage with governments, civil society, and other communities around the world. Homeland Security has warned AI possesses a serious risk to November's election, pointing to this audio that sounds like President Joe Biden. We know the value of voting Democratic when our votes count. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. That voice created by artificial intelligence. This isn't a threat of tomorrow. This is a threat of today. OpenAI recently said it will establish a new committee to make recommendations about safety. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.